Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas and today I wanted to show you the cutest little tiny cookbook and it'll be a short video because there's not much to look through, there's not a lot of pictures, but it's adorable. It's the Sunday Night Book. It's by Rosie Sykes. Hardy Grant Quadrille is the publisher, 2017. It offers, I believe, 52 recipes, if I'm not, yes, to make the weekend feel longer. Table of contents, number, chapter one is on toast, chapter two is onesies, then there's a bowl of pasta, I would eat pasta every day if I could, excellent eggs, comfort light, remains of the day, pick-me-ups, and a pop-it in ones. Okay, <laughs> introduction. Um, I want to read part of this too. As the weekend winds down into non-existence, many of us begin to contemplate the impending horrors that Monday morning will bring. But this is a choice, a social construct dictated by empty streets, empty pubs, and closed curtains. You could resign yourself to yet another humdrum Sunday evening supper, but you could just as easily embrace the moment as an opportunity to create something that's not only comforting, but also uplifting. Okay. On toast. For optimum comfort and speed, toast topped with something easy and delicious is hard to beat. So this cookbook barely has any photos, but she's going to teach us to make deviled chicken livers on toast with watercress. I would say no, I'm vegetarian. Roast fennel, chicory, and red onion with silk weaver's brain. I'm sure she doesn't mean actual spiders. Anchovy toast with parsley and shallot salad. Buttery black cabbage with crumbled black pudding not the good kind of pudding, tomatoes with thyme and bacon, brown shrimps with whiskey, anchovy, chili, and garlic beans on toast. And now we're already at chapter two. Onesies, one pot and one baking tray dishes, things that could carry over to a meal later in the week or go on a lunchbox. Yes, I love cooking big, 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 big things on Sunday to eat the next night and to take to lunch. Spiced rice and lentils, tremula chicken, Olive, anchovy, and onion cornbread tart. Yes, watercress potatoes with prawns. Spiced butter bean soup with feta, avocado, and tortilla chips. Yes, yes, yes. Tomato squash and creamed kale gratin. I would eat that, but I'm not a kale fan. But I would eat it. Jerusalem artichoke, hazelnut, and goat's cheese tart. Wow, yes. Next, a bowl of pasta. For example, toasted spaghetti with red onions, almonds, and raisins. That's not a way I would ever have thought to make it. Here's a picture of care filly with leeks and mustard. I've never seen the word care filly before. So here's some of the photos. I don't want to spoil it for you. I have photos. Lovely. Pretty, etc. Nice. Okay, Catalan angel hair pasta with seafood. Richard's crab linguine. Gnocchi and squash with walnut and sage sauce. Yes. An onion sauce for spaghetti or linguine. Ooh. Might have to take a Pepsi, but okay. Excellent eggs. The sucky part about being over 50 is onions are problematic. Spinach and goat cheese souffle omelet. Yes. Bombay potatoes and a fried egg. Baked mushrooms and eggs. Eggs in a pestle and mortar. Wow. Coddled egg Ivanhoe. Don't know what that is. Scrambled eggs with black pudding. Again, not the good kind of black pudding. If black pudding was dark chocolate, I'd be all over that. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Soft-boiled egg with asparagus soldiers. Mexican omelet. And now we're in comfort light, which is for warmer Sunday nights or when you've had a mega blowout weekend. <laughs> yes. Watercress and beetroot salad with horseradish and a boiled egg. Satsuma, pomegranate, fennel, and chicory salad with feta. Quick soused mackerel with bread and butter pickles. Smoked chicken, green beans, and burlati bean salad. Okay, let's get to the next. Oh! So there's pictures for each area, they just don't shove it in. Yeah. A comforting bowl of dal, i.e. lentils. Okay, remains of the day. I have always been a great patron of the leftover. Aha, leftovers. Chicken Herrera. Patatas bravas with a fried egg. I wouldn't have any leftover potatoes from that. Uh, pizza by any other name. Simple syrup, light emitting diode, squash and truffle brandade. What the dickens? I think we're in the drink section. Pear walnut and something inside this chicory leaf. Smoked, smoked mackerel and horseradish dip with crudités. Spice nuts. Okay, you get the point. 
It's darling. I bought this for myself. This could be a good little stocking stuffer if it fits in your relative stocking. It could be a quick and easy Christmas present, even to yourself. Thanks for watching this cookbook look through and preview. You can see more of them on the cookbookdivas.com website. We post cookbook news and gossip to Facebook and Instagram and, of course, videos on YouTube. We also have a podcast if I can tempt you to listen to it, cookbookdivas.com. Bye.